Globally, we now consume 4 billion tons of oil every year. Oil spills from shipping accidents and offshore blowouts are rare, but when they happen, the impact on the environment, on livelihoods, and on the local economy can be severe. I'm Joe Crowley, and in this series, I'll be asking the key questions. What lessons have been learned in 50 years of oil spill response? She lies like some stranded ocean monster shedding her life blood. The tanker carrying six million gallons of oil. <laughs> the oil is still oil which belching threatens commercial out. fishing and wildlife in the area. Environmental catastrophe. What issues should be considered from the type of oil spilled? Forewarned is forearmed. Uh, I mean, in military terms, it's know your enemy. To the techniques available for cleanup. This vessel has state of the art equipment. In a real spill, 50% of the equipment you don't need. But if you can tell me on the next spill which equipment I need, you get a contract with me. I see. I'll be finding out how to plan for an oil spill. You can say precious moments right at the outset of a spill when the damage is potentially the greatest. And how to respond when one strikes. Overall, how important is it to get up here and actually get a view of the oil from above? It's the only way really to get the very good quality information about um, the resources at risk. I'll look at the environmental and economic impact of spills around the world. And the systems in place for compensation. We have a legal framework, we have the money available, we have how to share it. I mean, we've advanced quite a lot in 35 years. <laughs> And I'll be asking, whether it's at sea or on shore, how do we deliver a well-planned and executed response to mitigate damage? It's really important to know the advantages and the drawbacks from different techniques so you can minimise the impact. Accidents will happen. What's important is to be ready for them when they do. 